What is anime? Now, I know that can be an annoying question to get into, but it's relevant here because Land of the Lustrous is an all-CGI series, while its director has explicitly said that he wants to adapt the anime style to CGI. Now, I don't think we can simply say anime is animation made in Japan because American shows like G.I. Joe and the Ninja Turtles were animated by Toy in Japan in the 1980s. Further, a lot of anime work is now outsourced to South Korea, the Philippines, and other East Asian countries, and a significant number of non-Japanese work in the anime industry. Heck, Take on Concrete is clearly an anime film, and it was directed by Michael Arias, an American. I think it's more useful, especially in this case, to think of anime as an aesthetic, a set of conventions used by its creators. Think of noir films like The Maltese Falcon or The Third Man. Lots of shadow, unclear motives, dark alleyways, two-bit thugs, elegant women, and tortured men. Now, these conventions won't all show up fully in every single noir film, but each noir film does need some of these conventions to be considered noir. A single dark alleyway does not a noir film make. Now, anime's conventions are pretty easy to list. Large eyes, small mouths, a reliance on lip flap during conversations, which typically don't have much movement themselves, um, still images that convey a lot of information, high frame rates during action shots, hyper-stylized action, and, of course, beach episodes. So, what happens when you try to make anime in CGI? Well, you can certainly copy the fundamental character designs, the large eyes and small mouths, onto CGI bodies. Heck, every idol show for the past decade or so has managed digital body doubles that, if they don't move, look nearly identical to their hand-drawn versions. But animation is a medium of motion, and much of the anime aesthetic comes from the precise motion of the characters. So to make anime CGI, you have to replicate those crazy jumps that seemingly all anime characters can do from a standstill to 30 feet in the air. Now, one thing you'll see a lot in 2D animation when a character is, say, leaping towards the camera, is that the camera won't move in a linear fashion over their body. If a character is, say, kicking towards the camera, the camera will linger on their foot, then zoom up to a bald fist, then zoom up to their face to catch that determined anime attack screen. And this is exactly the kind of thing that Land of the Lustrous does in its CGI. I want you to look at this shot from Land of the Lustrous, how the camera lingers on each bit of the character's body. This is classic anime, and it takes time and a lot of attention to do this in CGI. You have to speed up and slow down the camera in precise ways. But that's not all this show does. One downside of CGI character models is their rigidity. While they can squash and stretch, it's much easier and cheaper to keep them the exact same shape and just move their joints. And you see this in idol shows all the time. And I think this is one reason why Studio Orange chose to adapt Land of the Lustrous, originally a manga, because all of the female characters in this show are anthropomorphic gems. They're literally rocks given human form, so they shouldn't squash and stretch. The staff chose a concept that fits their medium. And impressively, this doesn't mean that the characters never deform, but that's kind of getting into spoiler territory, so... Mm. And in addition, the staff provides those strong still visuals so common in anime. Characters are posed to provide as much information as possible, even when they're not moving. In other words, the staff takes all of anime's hard-learned lessons about visual storytelling and applies them to CGI. Now, you might argue about what exactly qualifies as anime, and you can look at those different approaches to uh, storytelling and uh, visual representation in 2D anime versus CGI. But I think it's clear to see that Land of the Lustrous um, gets as close as I've ever seen it, at least, to replicating the anime aesthetic in CGI, which is really impressive.